Okay, so oh. it is almost, what happened? Uh, this just in, Lindsay just broke the sink. What's up everybody, welcome back to our channel, welcome back to our life in Holland. Landon Bingham in the house, everyone. What's up everybody? Guys, today is our Sunday. We actually had a really unique and great day. We were able to go back to church, wearing our masks. However, this time, Lindsay, Turn, and myself were all asked to speak in church, which is honestly a ton of fun. Turin, this is his first time he has ever done it, and he did a wonderful, wonderful job. Super proud of him. So many of you know, Stephanie had her baby. My sister-in-law, Stephanie McKay, had their baby. We have not been able to see sweet little Poppy yet, obviously due to, you know, COVID and things like that. However, Lindsay is permitted to go see her this evening and has promised to provide dinner for McKay, Stephanie, and the whole family. So we are busy actually making some dinner. We've got some, well, we're not doing really pasta bolognese here. However, we're putting together some Italian sausage, some ground beef. We're gonna make up a delicious pasta, take it over to their house. So according to Lindsay, we can meet little Poppy in a couple days, uh, which we're super excited to. She is the cutest little thing in pictures. But in the meantime, Lindsay's gonna go and report back to us and let us know how cute this little baby is. Stephanie's doing totally fine. Baby's healthy, mama's healthy. And we're just happy for him, you guys. So we're happy to be able to take some dinner over to him, and hopefully it's good. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. All right, guys, pulling an audible here. Decided to do a bolognese sauce. When this guy gets excited about cooking, it's always a good thing. So, bolognese. You got your ground beef, you got your sausage. Carrots is kind of the trick. We have no celery, however, we have celery flakes, which I think we should work fine. Onions, peppers is not part of bolognese sauce, however, uh, I think it'll add a little twist, and I might sprinkle a little bit of vinegar in there. We're gonna let you know how it is, and if it's delicious, we'll uh, post the, uh, the recipe down below. So guys, many of you might know the breed Golden Retriever. They require a lot of attention, a lot of exercise. They've got a ton of energy. Tell me right now, that dog is not perfectly matched for our family. It's like I got four Golden Retrievers now. Five, actually, if you count Annabelle. All right, so in preparation for uh, Lindsay to go over to Stephanie McKay's house, we are making a little Italian for the kids as well. In fact, this just in, I think what I'm making is also for us as well, is that true? Yes, double time. <clears throat> so the kids enjoyed some bruschetta, then we're gonna set them down to the basement and just play and hang. All right, a little update on the bolognese sauce here, guys. I added some pretty unique ingredients here, one of them being red wine vinegar, another one actually being a hint of mustard, actually. A hint of mustard, everybody. Let's wait for Lindsay's reaction, because she doesn't know that. Loves you in the kitchen. It's the best thing ever. It turns out so good. Okay, so it is almost. What happened? Uh, this just in. Lindsay just broke the sink. The bolognese is almost ready. Lindsay is about to take off to go see little puppy. And in the meantime, the kids and I are just going to hang out. We recruited the help of Ash over here to cut some tomatoes. Final preparations before we take a nice, delicious Italian dinner over to Stephanie McKay. Her full name is Poppy Scott, and she is so precious. I cannot wait to snuggle her. I'm hoping to get a little bit of footage of her so that I can show her to all of you guys. And I'm just gonna go be with my sister, who I haven't gotten to see yet because of COVID. I can't, couldn't go to the hospital, so it's the first time I'm seeing them. So Landon lately has been watching Ultimate Beastmaster. This guy is amazing. This kid is unbelievable. So we're gonna head over to the park, and we're gonna do our own little version of Ultimate Beastmaster, aren't we? Which yeah. is basically, you know, kind of the same it's thing as American Ninja Warrior. It's, yeah, so it's it's a little different. So they do in between le levels. So there's like things where 
the things are going really fast. On level two, there's this thing where it's called the digestive track and it sinks into the water as you're going through it. So you gotta move as fast as you can to get through it. Beastmaster. All right guys, we're here at the park and Ava wants to show us some ultimate Beastmaster. You're gonna go up this slide, exit through onto this. You gotta go down. Then you're gonna have to hang on this all the way up here. Drop onto the slide, come over here, transfer to this, get onto the ladder here, come around the front, up you go, and then down through the slide you go. Ultimate Beastmaster, contestant Ava Bingham, go! Next contestant, Ashton Bingham, go. Ultimate Beastmaster contestant, Turbo Bingham, go. Ultra Beastmaster, Landon Bingham, contestant Landon Bingham, ready, go. Contestant Justin Bingham. Ultimate Beastmaster in action over here. Ashton is about to complete the course, everybody. All right, guys, Ava's made up her own course. Ava's made up her own course. Three, two, one, go. Lindsay is not back yet. She's still hanging out with her sis. So I actually watched, this might come as a shock to many of you. I have not seen the Star Wars. Uh, I only saw the original trilogy, what is that, four, five, six, I believe. When we went to Disneyland back in December, we went to Star Wars land and went on the Millennial Falcon. We don't know very much about Star Wars, right? So tonight, we let the some of the kids watch The Force Awakens, which I think is seventh, right? We were unsure whether we would really enjoy it, even though it's a massively popular movie. I know that many of you will probably love Star Wars. Well, we are pleased to announce that we loved it. We absolutely loved it. So much so that we're gonna do eight tomorrow night and nine the next night. So yes, we are now becoming slow Star Wars fans. It's just not something that's fallen on our radar before. The ride's pretty cool at Disneyland though. But anyway, so, I'm gonna put these kids in bed. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You guys are amazing. We're almost to 70,000 subscribers. Incredible. You guys are amazing. Thank you for your support, for your comments, for your thoughts, for your love. We love you guys. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Turn on those notification bells. Smash the like button, and we'll see you tomorrow.